everyone welcome back by the diva for a lifetime how is everyone doing i hope everyone's doing well and today we're coming to you with the gel x um new color um this one is alex and she is definitely a beauty um it's that neutral shade color that we all love and this is medium coffin um i did purchase alex and i also did purchase mia um which i absolutely love this color as well um they are etched in the inside with the a press logo so no one can dupe these um they are very reasonable in price i was super excited you definitely do get 150 pieces um for 15 dollars but i say this is better than paying you know 30 dollars this is definitely really really nice so today we're definitely going to be using alex is natural cloth and medium and these are soft gels so before i have used their color gels um soft gel nails and the way to edge the inside and also help with the scratches is a hundred percent acetone this is what's going to make everything work um you won't see the scratches in the inside or anything down that line but we'll get there um that helps tremendously so we're going to be using primer we're going to use bonder <laughs> then primer then the extended gel bottle edition because i like to use it this way better and then of course like i mentioned we're going to use the 100 percent acetone remover and then we'll take it from there i am going to be using my electric nail file um, just to file my own nails and get everything done um, and then we might play with a little stamping we'll see how it goes from here i really don't have nothing set yet in stone but we're gonna get to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep. Let's go and get this done. First things first is to always to size them. Um, oh, I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so we're going to be using the acetone to go in to the nail and edge the inside of it. Usually I like to use my electric file, but because these are somewhat transparent in the bottom, you don't want to scratch them so you're able to see the scratches if you're going to use these as a solid nail. Um, using the other um, color um, extended gel nails, from Apris, they always suggested to use the 100% acetone. So I just went in and used it. As you can see, edging it in, you will edge it to the point that it is sticky and the inside of the nail with the number and the Apris logo is, they will disappear and you won't see them. Um, but this definitely helps give it that sticky layer that we're looking for to be able to have these nails on for definitely over a week or week and a half. Um, so definitely just take your time, edge them, use it with a lint-free wipe, and just a little bit goes a long way. So now I am going to go in and clean up my nails and get them prep ready. I'm gonna 
I'll take it from there. Okay, so I'm going to go in with pH under. I'm going to clean up the nail. Let that dry. Okay, we're going to go in with primer. So we're going to go in with a light coat of the extended gel and we're going to cure it for 30 seconds. And that's just enough to give it a sticky layer for the nails to really stick to. Make sure you get from sidewall to sidewall because it is super important. we're going to head and cure this for 30 seconds and then I'm going to keep my bottle to the left I have my lamp here on the right um, because we don't want these two to have any type of contact because even though this doesn't cure 100% it will cure the bottle and we don't want that right super important so we go in take and like give it a complete brush um, and then deposit whatever's left at the bottom. You can still see through it, which is nice. So you're able to see if you have any air bubbles or if you're missing anything. So that's really, really nice. Right, so that's how it's looking. And then don't worry about the spillage on the side because we'll go in and we, when we edge and we go around the cuticle, then that should take care of that. So once again, I go in and do one complete wipe and then whatever's left on the brush, I deposit at the bottom. And then we go in and yep you're able to see which is nice I was afraid of that um, I would like to see how Mia's work because Mia's are a little darker but I think once again um, you'll be able to see through them
okay so this is what they look like i'm going to go in and give it a 90 second cure be right back okay so this is what they look like after being cured for 90 seconds i'm gonna go in file them around the cuticle get rid of any extra glue that doesn't belong and we'll take it from there
acetone because this is what's recommended um, when you use the other colorful Apris gel nails. So give it a quick wipe and that should take away the scratch marks. And this is perfect as well because it leaves it ready for painting whatever you decide to do. Remember, a little goes a long way. But this is taking off that sticky layer on top so you're able to go in and do what you gotta do. Okay, perfect. So this is what the nails look like. I'm gonna go in, do a little stamping, and we'll take a look at what they look like. I absolutely love them, something simple. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, come part of the Diva Squad. And with that said, have an amazing week. We'll see you soon.